But first tonight, a gathering in grief in Queens for a teenager on a bike who was struck and killed by a hit and run driver. Tonight, new details about the driver who faced a judge tonight. Turns out the 18 year old driver has only a learner's permit. He says he was going 45 or 50 miles an hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. And he says he stopped, but then got nervous and fled the scene. With all these new developments, here's Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einiger. <laughs> They're far too young to feel this kind of pain, but the Ravenswood houses this evening, children wept. Kids, some barely into their teens, racked with a grief most had never known. Me, my best friend, my everything, my day one. Just there when I was down, I can't see him no more. Jaden McLaurin had just turned 16, a rising star on the basketball court at the local Boys and Girls Club. He'd been heading home on a city bike late last night when the driver of a BMW SUV slammed into him and left him for dead. For him to just hang out and come and don't make it home, it, it, it's, it's really sad. Nearly 24 hours later, disbelief consumed a basketball court steps from where Jaden lived with his grandmother, Elizabeth. Jaden was love. Jaden is love. He said, yeah, Grandma, I'm a graduate. But he wouldn't have the chance. The impact of the crash was devastating. He died at the hospital. Police said the SUV's driver was just two years older than Jaden and had only a learner's permit, meaning at that hour and by himself, he had no business behind the wheel. They found the abandoned car and caught the alleged driver, 18-year-old Yasser Ibrahim, a short time later. She hit him, she kept going. Oh, didn't that? stop to see him. Stop. He didn't deserve it. I love you, Jaden! As for Yasser Ibrahim, the 18-year-old unlicensed driver cop say was behind the wheel. He's been charged in this hit and run, though police will not say what they think he was doing here in Astoria in the middle of the night when in fact he lives all the way out in Levittown. This community wants answers to that and other questions, but first, they must grieve as they plan a funeral for a 16-year-old boy.